coronavirus is dramatically changing the landscape of pretty much every business. The hotel industry is feeling it as much as anyone else. On the front page centerpiece this week, the tri-state hotel boom comes to a sudden stop. There's been a crush of hotel development in Cincinnati over the last 10 years. Prior to that, a new hotel had not opened downtown for three decades. When the virus hit, there were 14 active projects in the area, and that doesn't include what was to become of the hotel of the Millennium Hotel. But now a number of them in the planning phase are on hold and developers say some of the projects won't come back. The Lytle Park Hotel was ready to go. Linens were pressed and the kitchen was testing its Italian meals. And then the pandemic happened. Courier reporter Tom Demaropoulos talked about how hotels can weather this storm with Mike Conway, chair of the group who will manage the Lytle Park Hotel. Thank you, Kyla. I'm um, joined this morning by Mike Conway with Weingartner and Hammonds. Mike, thank you for, uh, for talking with me here this morning. Good morning, Tom. Morning. Uh, so tell me, what has the coronavirus done to the hospitality industry? Well, with, you know, we started off with a, a slower decline uh, right up to the, to the weeks that uh, the Ohio and most of the state governors were putting restrictions on travel and socializing, social distancing. Uh, we went from about 27% demand to about a 90, 95% decline in hotel demand. So we were operating roughly somewhere around 10 occupancy points or less at each location. And that was pretty much across the country. Uh, our Marriott, New Marriott Chandler, Arizona was, uh, was a little higher than that because of spring training that was going on, but pretty much location, location, it was, uh, it was uh, under 10% occupancy. How have you and the Weingarter and Hammonds team handled uh, the response to this historic shutdown? Certainly, it was certainly unprecedented. Anything we've had to deal with in the past, of course, 9-11, it took three or four years to recover from the 9-11 impact. Uh, the Great Recession that, that happened in 2008, 2009, about three and a half, four years to recover. Um, we've unfortunately had to furlough a lot of our staff, our great team members. Uh, and uh, in, our, in our portfolio in the Cincinnati, in the Weingarten Hammonds uh, uh, grouping, we've had to furlough about 2,000 people. That was about 25 hotels. And our, our uh, overall parent company, affiliated company, Pyramid Hotel Group, uh, we have about 100 hotels and we've, we've furloughed a little over 8,000 people. So a very, very tough thing to do, very tough for our staff to do, uh, very tough for all of us to, uh, to have to, to in, in this, in this very small window of time, and we hope it is a 60, 90 day window of time that we can bring people back to work and open these hotels. Yeah, so my, that kind of brings me to my next question, which is Cincinnati had seen a lot of hotel development in the past decade, uh, kicked off by the Phelps opening downtown uh, project that you worked on. Uh, what do you see happening to hotel development in Cincinnati as this pandemic subsides? Uh, I think in Cincinnati and I think in, in most major markets across country uh, only hotels that really have excellent locations in our business it's been location 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 if you've got a great location you, you're going to do well you'll you'll be able to uh, weather the storm when downturns do occur um, we, we we do see Cincinnati uh, continuing its development but it will be a slower pace uh, there were over a million hospitality jobs open in the United States prior to this downturn. So the industry was being stressed and the amount of people that were available to, to work. I think that will balance out as we go through this crisis. Uh, but we will recover. We will return to normal. It's just, uh, you know, will that be a U-shaped recovery which, uh, or a V-shaped recovery, which I hope. Um, and that um, with all the stimulus that the federal and state governments are doing, uh, I, do, I do see that when we come out of this, we do get some uh, clear signs that people can travel again and go to their favorite restaurants, their bar, uh, the entertainment venues, the arts venues, that uh, um, we will see a, a, a recovery. Yeah. Now, Mike, you had a hotel project, uh, the Lytle Park Hotel in downtown Cincinnati. Uh, tell us about yeah, how close were you guys to opening when this uh, pandemic hit? Certainly, Tom. Uh, we were a week away, just completing Marriott training. 
a wonderful team of people that we have at the Lionel Park Hotel. Uh, it's a beautiful hotel uh, situated in a historic district, as you know, in downtown Cincinnati. Uh, the team was ready. We were making final, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, preparations for opening. Uh, we were ready to go. Uh, the hotel has uh, some unique features that are different than any hotel downtown Cincinnati. It's got a, we have a Four Seasons rooftop. It's called Vista. So for 12 months out of the year, we'll be able to have a different events and wedding receptions, et cetera. Um, we have uh, a lot of different meeting venues within the hotel. Uh, Cepito Restaurant, which is our Northern Italian Mediterranean flair uh, restaurant and bar. Um, the hotel is, um, the team was ready to go. And, uh, but we'll, we'll get there. If we start seeing this thing clear up a little bit, um, you know, we'll see fit to, to finally open it. Yeah, it'll be a great, great uh, gem for the Cincinnati area. Yeah, I'm looking forward to when things get back to a little bit, uh, a little bit of normalcy, and uh, would love to help uh, you know let our viewers know about that hotel when it opens. So hopefully we can connect again. Great, Tom. Great, thank Mike. You. Thank you so much for uh, joining us this morning. Kyle.